started having hypnotherapy when he was diagnosed with cancer. He says it helped him to become more positive and more involved in his treatment. I think treatment must be divided into two things. Yes, there's the medical uh, or purely uh, chemical treatment or medical treatment that you have. On the other side, uh, there is uh, also looking after the person as a whole. And the person may have all sorts of needs. Uh, so it's like pastoral care. And if this can help the person cope with the treatment, then surely it must help them get better. As your eyes close even more tightly. Hypnotherapy is already used in some parts of the country to help women who are preparing to give birth. It's also used in the treatment of cancer, depression, even irritable bowel syndrome. But advocates say it should be routinely available to more patients to relieve pain and stress. There are, however, concerns. The Royal Society of Medicine wants hypnotherapists to be properly trained and regulated. But if they are, hypnosis, they say, can be a useful tool alongside mainstream medicine. Graham Satchel, BBC News.